So joining us live now, Dr. Peter Chin Hong, an infectious disease specialist with UCSF. So let's talk about BA5. This is the dominant variant nationwide now. We know that there are a lot of reinfections. So people who got COVID a couple of weeks ago could even get reinfected with this one. So what do you know about this and why is this such an issue in your mind? Well, it's mainly an issue of reinfections because the spike protein on BA5 looks so different. Now we had BA1 and BA2 and they were similar enough. So if you got BA1 in January, you're not gonna get BA2, but all bets off with BA5. And some people are still getting BA2 as much as two or three weeks ago. So they're probably going to be very vulnerable to getting reinfected. Even though in the old days, you had a three months off. In this current era, it could be as soon as four weeks, uh, typically four to eight weeks after your last infection. And, and the White House is considering opening up boosters for people under 50. First of all, is that necessary? And would you recommend people under 50 to get boosted or wait for that updated vaccine? Well, Ryan, I would say go ahead and get the booster if you're eligible for it right now. We don't know when exactly when that updated version 2.0 of the booster will be available. Um, end of October, early November, but it all depends on who is paying for it. $10 billion still uh, under debate in Congress. If they can't agree on that, uh, it will be only a slice of the pie of the population getting the new vaccine. So. If you're younger, you might want to get it because it will top off your antibodies. Uh, if you're older, it's crucial because it may save your life. So the FDA just gave the green light to Novavax. We know that's more like a traditional vaccine than the newer mRNA vaccines uh, that we've seen with Pfizer and Moderna. So, you know, I, I do wonder, I think there is some thinking that people who are skeptical of the mRNA vaccines might consider Novavax. But could it be that people who are not willing to get vaccinated simply just aren't there? Are you, are you optimistic about that, that they might consider this? Um, no, I, I think that there are people who are not going to get vaccinated, regardless of what vaccine you give them, but there may be a few who might. I see the Novavax is really helping uh, add to the arsenal of vaccines around the world. There's already a generic plant in India uh, making lots of Novavax is easier to store. And I think once available for boosters, not available yet, just for primary series for the FDA approval, people may want to mix and match because it's a very different vaccine. So you may get a bigger repertoire of antibodies. But you're right, Sarah, at the end of the day, I think it'll be very difficult to convince that 15 to 20% of Americans who haven't been vaccinated to get vaccines with anything. Okay, so let's talk about monkeypox now, which is a very big story here mm -hmm. in San Francisco. The Bay Area is seeing an uptick in cases. At the same time, the supply of vaccine is very low. So how concerned should people be about monkeypox transmission and what can people do with that vaccine so hard to find? Well, I think uh, it's harder to get monkeypox, even though it's very, very uh, prominent and we're seeing lots of scary looking images. Um, because it's really a disease of rodents and small mammals. It's not really trying to find humans. And in the triangle or hierarchy of infections, it's at the bottom. Um, there's monkeypox, smallpox, colds, influenza, then there's COVID, and then there's measles. Um, the second silver lining is if people do get infected, there are lots of tools we have available right now. In the old days, when we think about COVID, not old days, but currently, you get a vaccine it can't really help with what you have right now if you have COVID, but in monkeypox, it can help prevent you from even getting disease after you got infected because the incubation period is long. We also have pills and things like that. So overall, not to panic, just to be aware. And we are expecting more and more vaccines. I think really anybody should get vaccine if they want it. And that's my hope for the future. Well, you know, so much has happened that 2019, 2020 does feel like the mm -hmm. olden days, doesn't yes. it? All right. <laughs> Dr. Peter Chin Hong, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to explain this for us. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye.